Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be checking out Legoland Billund. Of course, the front entrance of Legoland is just super snazzy with the oversized bricks and gears. And this is in Denmark, right? So we've got the Danish flag right there. Come on, of course it's in Denmark. It's the home of the brick. And look, we've got a marching band just out front. The front entrance is super stylish. In fact, these guys are still building it, but it's got all sorts of colors and giant sized minifigures and blocks. Right below the Danish flag is this really cool Duplo sculpture that is built with all sorts of different Danish flags. Look at this guy though. He's just been working so hard to get the park ready for us. I'm really happy that he's done that. Great job. Right when I walk in, I recognize this guy. I've seen him in Florida. He's just getting around to all the different Legoland parks. So there you go. But uh, when you come in the front entrance here, there's shops on either side. Right off the hop, I'm thinking of picking up a new sword and shield. What do you think? Should I do it? So there's gonna be lots of different shopping that I can do at Legoland. I'm actually gonna make a separate vlog about that just because we have so much to cover in this park. But yeah, look at these mugs. Maybe I need one of those. But yeah, just make sure you remember to check out that vlog as well. Because I can already tell that this shop is gonna be a doozy. That'd be a super cool way to see the park. I might have to go on that. It is the uh, like fall. So we've got a giant pumpkin surrounded by other pumpkins. It's pretty cool that I'm here for the fall, right? I mean, I'm not a huge fan of spiders, but I get to see some special displays with some massive jack-o'-lanterns. Hey, look, that guy looks like me. I recall them having very similar dinosaurs in Legoland, Florida. This guy is very colorful and massive. Looks like this guy's building them right now. Duplo bricks, but check out the pirate. His tail gets even more colorful. Comes all the way over here. So here's the park map. We are right here. We could go check out Miniland, or we could start our day at Duplo Land. Go check out the ninjas at the uh, Ninjago World. There's also Pirate Island, the Knight's Kingdom, Lego Movie World, Adventureland, and Polar Land. So there's quite a bit to explore. Should probably start it right here. This is the Lego built model of the Lego house, the home of the brick. The very colorful roofs that you can actually just like climb on. The other day I was standing on top. It was so cool just seeing like Billin from up above. And the place where I started my little Billin vacation, right? Was at the airport. You got some planes that are actually driving around. And then they've got all the terminals over there. And this massive plane, there's actually one right beside it that's pulling out right now as well. And also some vehicles that are driving around. Now one thing we have to keep in mind is that this stuff is all outdoor and it tends to rain a lot in Billund. So these bricks are sort of weathered because of the rain and sun, I guess, right? But they're making some noise, they've got some sound going here. Big runways, planes are moving around. Pretty neat airport, just massive. So it's really nice here in the mini land. You could just sort of walk around and check everything out. Got a like really cool water system here with all sorts of boats that are moving about and these massive buildings. So they're just at such a large scale and you can tell the scale by having a look at the builds of the minifigures. Just uh, like larger characters. Like all the different colors found throughout all of these different buildings. Like this area, it's just massive with all the boats in the water. Now I'm not really a know-it-all, so I don't know what all of these buildings are. Luckily for me, there's information signs everywhere so you can read about it. This is the Copenhagen Harbor. <laughs> which once again over the state is absolutely massive. Look at those trains. I like how they have the music going as well. Looks like we've got a band right there 
right beside the huge like cruise ship almost I guess or riverboat and some really nice looking sailboats oh look one of the trains is moving there we go you're gonna hear lots of uh, Danish speaking folk in the background because I'm in Denmark I don't know if you knew that yet <laughs> look at the size of that ship though Oh look, there's like a little submarine over there. Pretty neat boatyard with those giant like overhead cranes as well. And the tunes, the tunes just bring it to life, don't they? Oh, look at that octane truck. Fueling up that giant yacht. Look at all these homes and then there's the like windmills as well. Oh, look at this train. That thing's just cocking around the track, isn't it? So there's this massive skyscraper here. And apparently if I jump on this, it's gonna light up. I don't know how to jump apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool little skyscraper there, <laughs> not little big. Uh, the Clock Tower Hotel. See, so, yeah, I went to uh, Legoland in Florida and I could relate to more of the buildings because I live closer to Florida than I do Billund, I guess. Oh, the Bird Khalifa. It's got spiders on it. And behind that, a pretty big Eiffel Tower. This is definitely one of the more impressive builds found in Mini World. I like the harbors. And they have all the different boats. Docked. Pumpkin contest. It's cool they've gone around and added a little bit of fall slash Halloween stuff to all the builds. I like the sound of running water too. Isn't that nice? There we go, that's quite the shot right there. Mini World doesn't seem to be so mini, like it just keeps going and going and going. This one's beautiful. I love how you can see like the different layers of the city. It's neat because it's like Mini World in general is on like a slight elevation, so you get sort of higher and higher as you go this way. So you can sort of see it from like a different perspective, like like as you get higher, you can see like layers of Mini World. It's just super neat. I love the ones that you can really get like this good angle, like when you crouch down and you can just sort of see the depth of the city and the depth of the build. It's just so cool. So now I'm in the part of Mini World that's like a lot higher than the rest of Mini World. So we can like look down at it. There's a bunch of people in there, but you can sort of see what I mean. I'm like looking down at a different section of it. So it's neat how it's layered. And then it looks like we can just keep like going up. There's like all these nice pathways and make our way through Legoland. We're looking down at Mini World. Hey, look, it's Mount Rushmore. And they're actually built out of Lego. Oh my gosh, I am absolutely terrified. It is a giant Lego spider. <laughs> that thing is crazy. Look at that. Look at the legs. That is so cool. Look at these pelicans. He's got a pirate hat. That one's got a pipe. So as you can probably tell, I've already made my way to the pirate area. Look at that monkey. <laughs> and then there's a huge skull back there too. It's just a little bit quieter. So I'm making my way to the back of the park and then I'm gonna move forward again. Ooh, I want some of these pancakes. Doesn't look to be open. 
Hey, look at this guy. He's just hanging out by his treasure chest there. Ah, some brick built like swords back there too. And then all sorts of treasure over here. Yeah, I like it over here because there's nobody around. There you go. You can just walk through the park and check out all the pumpkins. See, this guy's so comfortable that he has removed all of his clothing. <laughs> Cheers to that. A couple of guys hanging out there by the kegs. And then some Vikings up here. Vikings River Splash. I don't know if I'd want to get wet today. It's a bit cold out. But you know what? I, I'd probably do it. I don't know if I'm going to go on any rides, to tell you the truth. But I like these Viking characters. I have no idea what you're saying, buddy. Sorry. The castle in the background, that's neat. Oh, there's a giant dragon over there. But this looks like my type of ride. Look at that. That would be fun. So I'm here in September. I bet you if I were here in... July or August, this would be just packed because everyone wants to get wet in July and August, right? But well, maybe not on a cloudy Sunday. Two little pigs. Oh, that dragon build is right there in the ride and more Vikings as well. They're actually running the ride with nobody on it though. Does that mean it's gonna open? Look, here it goes. Oh, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Looks doable. Well, here's the backside of the river ride. Not bad. I'm pretty impressed. Pretty well themed theme park, I've got to say. That's pretty neat. Egyptian Pharaoh. I will say though, like Legoland rides, aren't really adult rides, although that roller coaster right back there does look pretty fun. But it's more so like kids rides, in my opinion. Although if Jose were here, I'm sure we'd be going on a couple, but even when we went to Legoland Florida, I think we went on a total of one ride. And it was very similar to this one that we're having a look at right now. So the Polar Land is where the roller coaster is. The sign on that Anukshuk there. Doesn't look too bad. It's a nice backdrop for this massive Lego helicopter. And then this guy on the ATV. I just can't quite spot where the Lego movie area is. Oh, I think I managed to find it. There we go. Oh my God, it's you and a kitty. What do you think? Should I get somebody to take my picture over here? So we've got the Unikitty Disco Drop, the roller coaster that I probably should go on right over there, right beside, what is it? Is it Una Dog? Is that Unikitty? No, it's Un Una Dog, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> but look at that. I should go on that roller coaster, shouldn't I? But I mean, everything is pretty awesome in this area. Like, how fired up would Benny be on that? Eh? And look at Emmett over here. That's pretty sweet, hey? So then check it out right here. We've got blue. And he's built out of Lego. I will say in this area, there's a lot of like this happening. Like look at Rex Danger Vest. He's not even made of Lego. That's cheating. <laughs> there's not enough of this, I, I, in my opinion. I think there's too much like plastic. Yeah, because this isn't plastic. That's Lego. Still pretty cool though, right? For sure. Stop! I like the fact that these are Lego built though. Like those things are just solid. Look at that. The Lego movie signs. It's just a rock solid build, isn't it? So what I'm probably gonna do 
is finish my filming of the park, like what I'm doing right now, and then go back through the park on my own and go on some of these rides. I just want to go through the park and get as much filming done as I can before it gets like busier in here. Although it is a Monday in September, so I can't see it getting that busy, but I just want to get it all taken care of. That's loud. I want to get it all taken care of and then I'm going to go back there and maybe go on that coaster and experience some of the loud rides. Hey, hey, I didn't see this little hidden gem right down there. Just got to go on this bridge. Some really nice like plant theming here, like good vegetation all over the place, right? Like with the nice bushes and everything. <laughs> Jordan goes to Legoland. Really nice bushes. Uh, what's this castle viewpoint? Dragon. Is it open? Why is there no lineup? Is this a ride? What is this? Looks like I wouldn't have to reserve it if I want to go on it. Maybe I'll do that later. I'm down to walk up here though and explore. Hey look, a couple swans. This is nice and peaceful. This is why I'm here. To enjoy the Lego and the landscape. I've noticed that with Legoland parks is it's always really nicely like landscaped. There I go about the landscaping again. The monster's ball, it's party slime. Well, I think I was actually wrong about the castle ride known as dragon. Cause I just saw a dragon going through like this roller coaster track right here. So I think this is where that ride is. It's very nice. See, there's the dragon. This is cool. Look, there's sharks in the water. <laughs> They're just going around there. And that's like a giant version of the El Dorado Fortress. Like, how neat is that? It's the El Dorado Fortress in a massive scale. So I've had lots of people give me strange looks today because I'm walking around with a camcorder, right? To be expected. But I think also because people have recognized me and I just got my first selfie with somebody. So that was a cool moment. Yes, yes, I need one. So just a little side note about Denmark. So this is a standard black coffee and it cost about 40 kroner, which is $7.70 Canadian. So a standard coffee, $7.70. Yesterday I, I had a pint of beer and it cost me 80 kroner. So the beer costs nearly 15 Canadian dollars. The exchange rate and prices in Denmark, not cheap, <laughs> not cheap at all, especially if you put it on your credit card and the bank gets you. Just a side note, Denmark is not cheap. <laughs> but now I am entering Ninjago land. And of course we are greeted by Woo. This is a super cool piece right here. And this like big mountain, the giant temple on top. Oh, check out these dragons. So there's this one, and then a mirror of it on the opposite side. And these are on either side of the entrance to the Ninjago ride. Yeah, so the Ninjago area has all the different statues of all the characters around the temple. And then that mountain build is in the center and the front gate is right there. So it just sort of goes around. Pretty neat little area. So there's actually a hotel that gives you a view of the park. And it's all like Lego brick themed. It's called the Legoland Hotel. So it's pretty cool. Imagine staying in there and having a view of the park from your room. I think that'd be pretty special. Unfortunately, I didn't opt in for any of the nights at the hotels here, like on the Legoland ones, just because they were fairly expensive. So decided not to. I mean, I'm sure if Millie and Benjamin were of age, I'm sure we would have an absolute blast. I'm sure one day we will bring them to a Legoland park and they're 
they will have a blast and we will probably stay in a Lego themed room. But until they're of age, I don't think I will. <laughs> I should go on that though, to get a good view of the park. That would be pretty neat. Oh, this looks interesting. The Great Lego Reef. They've got a shark out front. And embedded in the uh, water is a whole bunch of fish. And it looks like guests are encouraged to build their own things and add them to the model. This is a really nice build with the fish and the reef and the treasure chest. I love the backdrop too. Ooh. There's a whole bunch of people building around the other sculpture to my right. Check out the life-size Ferrari. It's got like real tires on it. Working headlights as well. A real steering wheel. You can start it up with the little uh, control panel over there. Ferrari logos. And also the interior. And tail lights as well. And that Ferrari is just outside of this building where guests are encouraged to come inside and build their own custom vehicle and put it through these different like obstacles. There's this one here that's like a ramp that goes through this tire. And then there's this one here that's a speed test. And you go through and just choose whatever pieces you want to use. They even have some instructions if you want to build one of their models. And then some examples up top. And there's also a giant digital racetrack and then another testing area. We should probably head inside and check out the Nintendo Switch area. Doesn't look like it's very popular because I don't think anyone came here to play Nintendo Switch. But you know what, I like to see that, you know? The kids aren't here to play video games, they're here to enjoy the park. So I think I am gonna go way up there. Oh wow, I didn't even notice this though in uh, Miniland. It's a giant cruise ship train ripping by, Coca-Cola truck right there. Like a harbor over there with a large container ship. You can see the crane is loading something right now. Look at this castle up on the mountain and another train just came through that tunnel. I didn't even spot this when we went through uh, Miniland the first time. Definitely gonna do another like once over through the park, but I wanna check it out from way up there. Oh, there's a good view of the castle. In the hotel. <laughs> Pretty neat seeing the Ninjago area as well and that water ride. And there's Miniland. Oh, what? I never went back there. I never checked all that out. <laughs> well, there you go. There's a huge Taj Mahal over there. There's the front entrance. And back to the castle. And there's the Lego campus. And to the left of that, that white building there is the Lego house. So I guess I'll be making my way over there. I'm glad we went up here. There's a really neat aerial shot of that build. Well, this is a lot better than I anticipated. Check it out. I'm in a giant Lego boat. And I gotta check all these builds out. There we have the Taj Mahal. Look at the size of that thing. Ugh, that is so cool. And then we're about to pass through the London Tower Bridge. Can I actually steer this thing? Oh, I think I can. I think it actually like changes the direction of the boat. Well, there you go. Oh yeah, professional boat driver. What can I say? Oh, well, they got the tunes going for us and everything. There's the London Tower Bridge. 
Oh, looks like I, I rammed into the wall. Whoops. That's cool though, you could actually steer it. What a fun thing. Oh, it's a collision. <laughs> there's the London Eye and it's actually moving. And on this side, there's a massive Roman Colosseum. I gotta try and run my boat into this wall to slow it down. I'm on this guy's tail here. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> it's the Sydney Opera House. And then across the way, we have something from Greece. And the backside of the Taj Mahal. The Osaka Castle from Japan. Sorry if I mispronounced that. And then the backside of the Capitol building. And look at that, and the background of that is the uh, Statue of Liberty. There's the front side of the Capitol building. So when I was in Florida, they had uh, Miniland USA. That was actually a pretty spectacular build. You know, there was like Las Vegas and New York and all that. Obviously this is a little bit different, but it's nice to see the Capitol building and also the Statue of Liberty. And I think most of these things that we've seen here have been built into smaller Lego sets, like the Capitol building, also uh, the Statue of Liberty, the Colosseum, the Taj Mahal, etc. There's a temple from Thailand right there. And it looks like we're about to enter Egypt. Abu Simbel, I believe it is. And then the Sphinx across the way. So I've gone on a couple rides now, and this is one that I can't say no to. Look at that haunted house. Ooh, spooky. Look who's greeting us at the front door. <laughs> it's actually full of Lego builds, which is cool. Yeah, look at this. There's like a skull right here. Then you turn around and there's a ghost. Oh. <laughs> he just fell forward. Oh, I like this. This is what we come here to see, right? Cool Lego builds. I like the Monster Fighters references, right? And this flashlight can be shined at ghosts. It makes them react. <laughs> oh, there's a witch, Frankenstein, and you can. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of us that are just like stuck in here. We don't know where we're going. We're stuck. <laughs> oh, I think I found it. There we go. Woo! Spooky. Look at that, it's a Lego torture chamber. So it actually ends with a drop ride. It's like a miniature drop ride. Sorry to be that guy. I'm not going on it. <laughs> bye bye Outside of that haunted house is like this really neat 3D mosaic. It's all Monster Fighters themed. The way over there, there's like a castle. Super cool mosaic though and people are encouraged to build their own little things and add them to it. Hey look, it's a couple ducks. And they're in the pond where we got some pirates with a cannon. And once again, that giant skull. And that guy's hanging right off the front of the ship. So remember, midway through this video, I said, you know what, I'm gonna go through the park, do all my recording, and then after that, I'm just gonna take it all in myself one more time. So that's pretty much where I'm at right now because I've seen a lot of it, had a great day. I've been walking the park for four hours, pretty much gone through everything twice, I would say. But now I'm going to do it a third time without recording anything and just enjoy myself. Well, not that I don't enjoy making these videos, but you just sometimes you miss certain details when you're just not 100% focused on looking. Yeah, so I'm going to enjoy Miniland to myself here. Look at those little trees. Isn't that cool? Sort of match the scale of the model. 
I don't know. I sort of want to take you along on the journey though, right? Like, look at the bus. How is it moving? Is it like magnetized under there? <laughs> That's cool. It must just go around the whole area. Cause look, the road is like way over there too. So this bus is just cruising. Huge wind turbines. Uh, Miniland was uh, pretty busy this morning when we were going through it. But now it's not nearly as busy. Maybe it would have been smarter to come here in the afternoon rather than right at uh, rope drop, right when the park opens. Maybe that's the way to do it. Oh, see, there's a detail that I didn't see the first time or the second time. And now I'm seeing it on the third time. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, well, this is neat. Check it out. It's a giant rocket. This is the uh, Kennedy Space Center, right? You got all the other rockets over there. I truly missed this. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. The giant NASA building over there. And once again, the moving vehicles. There's a uh, fire truck back there. I think there's a train going through this area as well. I think it's back there right now, just parked. But there is track. Oh, here it comes. On the left is a space shuttle display. There we go. It's just a huge scale. So everybody, there we go. That wraps up my tour of Legoland Billin. What do you think? Was it pretty cool or what? I thought it was pretty cool. I sort of gave you the A-full perspective. That's the adult fan of Lego perspective because I didn't really focus on the rides because they're sort of geared toward a younger age demographic, but rather the builds and the actual Lego found at Legoland. Similar to what I did when I was in uh, Florida. Completely different parks. Which one's better? I'm gonna say they're about the same. Yeah, both feature different styles of builds. The one in Florida is Miniland USA, right? Pretty cool stuff though. Uh, yeah, had a, had a great time and the weather was perfect. Not a drop of rain, so I'm pretty happy about that. And there you go, Legoland Villain all wrapped up. Thank you so much for coming on by. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff and farewell.